Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. Brother Thomas with you here. This is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And brothers and sisters, just a quick word today on a subject that is near and dear to my heart. I enjoy it. Uh, and that is Bible mathematics and the, the, the mathematics of the Bible. Uh, there are mathematical patterns woven throughout the tapestry of the word of God from Genesis to Revelation that we are aware of. Oh, praise God. Number patterns so complex that it's taken to this day, the day of the high-speed computer, to even begin to unlock some of these mathematical patterns. They are beautiful indeed. They start as simple as single numbers and become as complex as multiples of multiples of multiples. <laughs> we have numbers like three, of course, the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We are spirit, soul, and body. Patterns of three run throughout the scriptures uh, in all types of, of in all types of combinations and, and related to subjects. The number six, the number of man, six six six, the number of a man, seven, the number of completion. The earth was created in seven days, or in six days, and on the seventh day he rested. So sevens, eights, the number of new beginnings. Seven is completion. It completes a cycle. As eight begins a new cycle. So eight, the number of new beginnings. Twelve, the twelve tribes, the twelve apostles. All of these numbers have their purpose and meaning and use within the scriptures and are related to the scriptures. Amen related to the scriptures, and that's their context. There are those who have taken this blessed aspect of the word of God and taken it out of the word of God and have twisted it into a lie and use it to promote evil and to take our eyes and people's eyes off of God, the author of the mathematics, and have made the mathematics a religion. Wrong. Mathematics is a part of a whole. It's a part of a whole. The whole word of God, the whole truth of God, the whole revelation of God. It's not the whole, it's a part. Oh, and amen. So, when we understand mathematics as they are being used in the scriptures, wonderful blessing indeed. They reveal great truths and help us to stay on track with where we are in, in the scriptures. When we take them outside of the scriptures or start using mathematics you know, in perverted ways, uh, non-biblical ways, then we're going to get into trouble with that. Amen. We're going to get into trouble with that. Yeah. Do we see mathematical patterns within our own lives that help tell us things? Well, sure. Sure we do. But again, I'll give you a couple of quick for instances. Here's one. Because I mentioned Bible mathematics but in some of the the messages that we do and in the teachings, the simple basic uh, mathematical patterns to keep you aware of them so that you know them. Uh, and so I've gotten some comments about Bible mathematics over the time. Uh, all right, you can throw out a lot of numbers. Well, here's a couple of fun ones for you, all right? One, this brother was born again, I was saved on September the 3rd, 1974. September the 3rd, 1974. September is the ninth month, or three times three. On the third day of the ninth month, <laughs> in the year 1974, one plus nine plus seven plus four is 21, or three times seven is 21. 9374 would have been two weeks before, exactly two weeks or two times seven, 
14, before my 21st birthday, or three times seven is 21. <laughs> Have a little fun with that if you would like, all right? But the number, <laughs> the mathematical patterns are there. And just as an aside, I happen to have my wife and I, didn't have them by myself. Uh, my wife and I have three children. Yes, three. We have three children. Uh, we didn't plan that. That's all my wife was able to have, and we've had three children. They were all born in the seventh month, seven days apart. Exactly, seven days apart. So three children, all born in the seventh month, seven days apart. And as of the making of this video, I have four grandchildren. So, seven offspring, three children, four grandchildren, seven offspring. <laughs> now, fun, yeah, interesting, okay, right? But be aware of the way the devil, the enemy, can twist these things. Whereas as I say, you know, this is a part of a whole. It's, a, it's one part of a whole. It's not the whole. So while it is a part of the whole, and should respect be respected for being a part of the whole, it is not the whole. So give it its proper space, place, and respect and enjoy it for the God-given blessing that it is. But always keep in mind, it's a part of a whole. Oh, and amen. Oh, and amen. Enjoy the mathematics of the Bible. You'll find the patterns throughout from Genesis on, as we say. Wonderful and blessed mathematical patterns that confirm the glory of God revealed in his word. That's what they're really for. All the other stuff might be interesting. They're really for you to know the truth of God revealed in his holy word. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, amen and amen.